An I-5 interchange project that city engineers say is dire for Sacramento drivers is officially on to its next phase. Uh, city council members just tonight approving an additional $1.6 million to complete the first part of the road project that could cost up to nine figures when all is said and done. Fox 40's Mason Morrow has more on what that project does and does not include. Okay, consent calendar passes. No discussion needed from Sacramento City Council members Tuesday night to approve more funding for a road project with a potential price tag of $100 million. The city moving $1.6 million of a countywide transportation sales tax to the I-5 Richards Boulevard interchange overhaul. If I go this way, I'm going to be stuck in traffic for a while. <laughs> Fox 40 caught up with Crystal Lopez, who stopped to fill up by the interchange on her commute home. The Sacramento mom and other drivers say the roadway tends to clog up at rush hour traffic. You know, a little bit of four o'clock in the afternoon when I'm coming back from duck hunting, but I'm usually tired by then. <laughs> it just slows it down a little bit and you're, you're through, you're, you've gone on through. City engineers developing plans for a diverging diamond interchange at the I-5 bridge near Discovery Park. Designs for the DDI look a lot like this one on I-5 in Manteca. Engineers say moving two-way traffic to the left side of the road eliminates a left turn lane stop, smoothing out drive times and cutting collisions in half. It does sound very confusing. Lopez is not the only local driver worried about the revamp on Richards Boulevard. My wife has trouble driving on the right side of the road, let alone something on the other side of the road. But it's a change city engineers say the interchange desperately needs to accommodate hordes of drivers as plans for the river district and nearby rail yards expand in the coming years. In Sacramento, covering local news that matters, I'm Mason Morrow, Fox 40 News.